indeed, everyone. And I could actually smell this elephant before I saw him. It looks like a big bull. I'm just listening out to make sure there aren't any others around. But this bull is in must. And that's what I could smell. So he's got a very strong musty scent to him. And you can see he's actually sweating from his temporal glands, much like I am at the moment. <laughs> it's very, very warm. But we actually, we're in a perfect position. Um, I don't think he knows that we are here yet. He's happily feeding. See him flapping his ears very slowly, cooling himself down. Those ears have a lot of veins in them. So by flapping the ears, he cools the blood down in his ears. And that then circulates through the body, slowly but surely cooling down the te body temperature. Not by much, but it does help a, a few degrees. Such a lovely, lovely experience viewing these big elephant bulls on foot. I just want to have a look around here quickly. Let's see if we've got another view of him. I'm just trying to have a look, like I said, just to see if there aren't any others around, which there very may well be. But this looks like it's just a big lone bull, which often happens. You do get to see these bulls by themselves. Sure, I can smell him. So the wind is the wind is in our favour at the moment. And what I say, what I mean by in our favour, is the wind is blowing from him towards us. So that helps us because we can smell him. He can't smell us. So that again just shows that he doesn't know we are here yet. I'm keeping my voice very low, not making too much noise. The best thing to do on foot is if you can view an animal like this and then leave without it knowing you were there. I wonder, let's just come over here a little bit, Chandra, follow me. We've still got a lot of cover here, which is perfect for us. going to these little water holes, mud wallows paid off. There we can see this elephant, he's not far from the water hole. George, an elephant's eyesight is actually very good. It's, um, they can definitely see us from a few hundred meters away. I'm just listening at the moment, just watching. If we're lucky, maybe we get this elephant going and bathing a little bit, splashing himself with water. What I'm going to do is just try and have a look. I think if we just move back, Chandra, a little bit, just straight back through there. And um, all that we're doing is we're getting a bit more cover. That's all. Just watch out the aerial. <laughs> Come through here. There we go. So we can stand here now, we've got some cover, we don't have to worry. Now what I'm hoping is, if we stand very, very still and quietly, that elephant comes down to drink. See what he decides to do, you can just see the legs through there, through the trees. This is such a wonderful experience, as I was saying, a bushwalk gives you a completely different perspective of viewing these animals when you are on foot and you're able to get a little bit closer. Again, we do have to be respectful, we do have to be careful, but there's no reason for this elephant to be th threatened. We've kept our distance now, we've in a thicket, we've got some cover, so that elephant should, and it actually looks like he's leaning to one side, which is a good sign, it means he's resting, completely relaxed. Zane, now you asked if I can describe this musty smell. I actually don't know how to describe it. It's a very strong musty smell, very pungent. Um, I'm just trying to think the best way to describe it. Um, 
James is usually a bit better at describing these smells than what I am. Um, <laughs> so, Jandre described it as sweet leather, and VM once described it as off oros. So, what we've learned from this is that is that cameraman can't smell anything. There we go. Just as we thought, he's come out from behind the bushes. Oh yes, he's going to probably splash himself and have a drink. This is amazing. You could hear him spraying the water into his into his mouth. Usually what they do is they lift their trunks and they tip the water into the mouth, allow gravity to do the work. Now, with him drinking like this, it's also a good sign that he's quite comfortable. He wouldn't have come to drink if he had known we were here and if he felt in any way threatened. Now we have got, I know this area, we have got a few termite mounds behind us. If we do need to move out, we know exactly where to go. But there's absolutely no danger, no threat at the moment. Really a wonderful, wonderful sighting. And he's not too far from us, as you can see. Now, Caroline, in the lifespan of an elephant and possibly of a big bull like this, might be about 50 to 60 years old. So it's a long lifespan for these massive animals. Now he doesn't look like a really old bull. I still think he's got a number of years to grow. Um, it's hard to tell, but he looked like he's possibly around around 30 years old or so, I would say. I would guess somewhere around there. So he's still got some time to grow. You can hear what he's doing now. Is he's busy feeding on all that green vegetation around this water hole. Yeah, you can see. Actually, from the... Yeah, if you have a look... Jandre might have been focused on um, on his penis between the back legs. And you can see the must, the all that liquid. Um, it's not the must; it's the liquid that is excreted from the penis. Um, a lot of testosterone moving through the body when they are in must. That causes them to sweat from the temporal glands and secrete a liquid from the penis. And that is that pungent smell that we can smell at the moment. Very very strong smell. What I think we're going to do is um, later when we go back to James in the tent, we'll ask him to maybe describe it. He's a little bit better at describing these smells. But it, it smells like a, I want to say almost an off blue cheese or camembert smell, perhaps. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Mixed with sweet leather and off arrows. <laughs> I don't know if that elephant will be too happy about us describing it like that. Here's having another drink. Oh, it's a lovely sound, isn't that amazing? It's because he's so close to us, very, very close to us. Really, it's amazing to hear these sounds so close. Good afternoon, pleasure. Yes, on Sam. <laughs> so, one of the other guides just got mobile and blaring over the radio, but that's that's our fault. We should always make sure the radios are turned down when you do get to sightings like this. Just see where that elephant goes now. Okay, we're gonna stand dead still here for a second because he's he 
he's just moving okay I'm just gonna see which direction he goes to we're gonna stand dead still for a second and keep quiet let's head back to James in the tent and see if he can describe the smell of must <laughs> 